piano keyboard work here. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, what's up guys, it's Garrison here, and welcome back to the channel, and today, I'm quite excited, not gonna lie, because I'll be checking out a brand new boy group that debuted this year back in March, called 9i. Now, I've only heard good things about their latest comeback, right, with young boys, so I'll be checking out first their debut with Parallel Universe, the music video for it and all, and then immediately right after, transition into Young Boy and give you guys my thoughts and analysis and uh, such. Now keep in mind, I don't know literally anything about this boy group. I'm going in blind, just hoping that I'm gonna enjoy their music as much as you guys do in the comments section down below you guys numerous of you guys have been voicing it out in the comments throughout various uh videos on my channel and i thought might as well this is the time to really catch up on uh certain releases and likes of new boy groups of uh, of course, and as some of you may know, I'm very open mind when it comes to music in general and stuff that's going on in the K-pop scene. But aside from that, let's just dive into 9i now. All right, so brought it up here, Parallel Universe by 9i. And then after, on a separate tab, I have put up Young Boy. So I'll make sure to check that out and cover that other uh, release, their first comeback and all after uh this one way or other after seeing and hearing how this goes but let's go Ooh, liking the typography there getting a little bit of chills here not gonna lie what Ooh, I'm really liking this atmospheric start, but yet the sentimental kind of vocal delivery, especially with the instrumentation that's being done so far. Okay. Where's this headed though? Ooh, the piano keyboard work here. Oh my! What? This is immediately giving me like 2018. 2019 feels with this like got me reminiscent of those kind of k-pop days <laughs> The vocal work the choreo Wow beautiful oh. I just can't get enough of the sentimental melodies being done in this. Oh. I'm loving what I'm seeing too. Just with these scenes and how they directed this music video. Like sure I've seen this scene before, but the lighting is so on point. What? <laughs> oh, what a dance right here. Oh. 
Oh, this member really got my attention. This got me super nostalgic. Wow. Nine Eye. Definitely. Okay, let's. I'm gonna be real with you guys, okay? Coming into this blindly, not knowing anything about this group, but like at the same time, like I have this sort of back in my mind expectation, the way the trends that are going, the way that debuts and these new groups are going. All I'm saying is like, okay, you know, it might be like a very upbeat release. That, that was my guess before this. Sure, it's upbeat, but it doesn't take the very typical trend of like being all out in your face very explosive per se and i say this time and time again and about the ad libs and stuff like that or that or something cheesy and all by no means that took that route and i am be real with you guys i'm sick and tired of hearing comebacks and debuts that suit towards that kind of trend but don't hit the kind of right spots and all. And as some of you may already know and are familiar with this channel, I'm such a sucker for sentimental releases. <laughs> but not that that really... How should I say this? Moves you in a special kind of way, you know? And has whole different levels of emotion to it. And not done by solely the instrumentation, but the vocal work, the rap, the overall performance. And as some of you know, right? I said that at the start. I'm very open-minded when it comes to music, when it comes to K-pop. But over the years, after consuming so much K-pop and brilliant releases, but then some releases that are really bad or like, you know, that have potential and all, right? I've heard it all, seen it all, or a lot of releases and debuts. This really got me unlocking the ages of, more specifically speaking, 2018 and a bit of 2019, exactly. And the one release, dare I say I could say, and Boy Group is 101, Spring Breeze. Immediately I could put it out there, or even the likes of their song Light, right? The sentimental melodies... The keyboard piano work, the overflowing motions that really moves you in a way, how it's put together so, so beautifully like this, visually as well, you don't get this no more. Like sure, this has been done before, but like you just don't get this anymore and it sort of reminds me similar to like girl groups the likes of chasarang they have brought back that early days g friend lovelies feel that i was really sad to slowly but surely see and hear fade away but them bringing it back was so refreshing but also right nine i parallel universe wow they took me in a time machine literally with this one got me in my feels fully right now keep in mind right this is the debut right the one thing is i can't say immediately right away that i can figure out like a distinguished kind of sound for this group yet i feel like i'll get more of that when i get into young boy of course and potentially their b-sides in the future because i feel like there's without a doubt i gotta check out their b-sides if their title track is this good. 
But the one thing that I can say after seeing how this music video played out direction wise and the quality of it and the song hand in hand, the quality of it being so top notch. I feel like the people behind the scenes really showcased the members really well. I don't feel like the instrumentation's doing the heavy lifting, I, nor I don't feel like it's the opposite where the members vocal work and talents are doing the heavy lifting or the song. There's a nice balance and I talk about that a lot heavily on the channel. But most importantly, I love how each and every member is being showcased in the music video, in the choreo, in their own separate scenes and together as a whole and during their vocal moments and their certain parts during the sections in the song which by the way had quite the standard right verse one later on with verse two chorus right bridge standard arrangement to this song yet a beautiful movement to this song yet before we hit that bridge mmm that took something out of me like that dance rig was so electrifying and so engaging and that's that's the one thing i'm missing you know about this 2017 2018 2019 and even before that particular releases that i miss that ah oh, i just wish there's that kind of material that really engages and yet i thought you know that's the only climax of the moment right no they took it up a notch from that dance break with that one member going into right the bridge the bridge was beautifully well done i love the lyrics during the bridge it was memorable i want to emphasize that memorable i talk about longevity a lot on this channel you may have an impactful debut you may have an impactful song but is it memorable? Does it have longevity and replay value to it? This most definitely does. This is a 10 out of 10 in terms of that end of longevity and replay value, right? So I gotta give this a really strong nine and maybe over time it will be a 9.5 out of 10. What's stopping me from giving it a 10, a solid 10 is hearing this before, you know, this is not like it's, this is not like bridging gaps or it's not like really breaking barriers right i've heard this being done before but not like in this day and age you feel me right so i'm sort of getting the gist of nine i so far and i'm loving what i'm uh hearing and yeah i like that final chorus though <laughs> after the bridge i think they really wrapped it up really well with the soaring vocal work so I'm going to have to point out some overall soundscape stuff when we dive back into it. What I'm loving visually. I really think uh, one of the members is Ty, right? I could see that one of the members is Ty. I'm just going on a limb here, you know. I do want to apologize in advance if I do get it wrong. I'll, I'll go on their K profile uh, profiles uh, after uh, this. Seems like there's a ton of members uh, in this uh, group that I'm going to have to potentially familiarize myself with but nine eye wow really tapping in in the time zone that i really doubted that could be brought back jeez they they don't they don't seem that young i mean sure i hear a, a bit of that youthfulness but the maturity in this group and considering that this is a debut they look they look like born in an era and time line where i was born i'm talking about 1999 1998 2000 maybe they have a, an 03 liner in this group i'm gonna have to find out myself but So I'm like, once I heard this, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. I'm feeling this, right? I love how they sort of showed this carnival scene, right? 
on this ball, this chrome ball that this member's holding here. And yet, you know, these kind of sentimental chords are the type of, or I should say, moments in this song that really unlock that kind of nostalgia kind of feeling, you know what I'm saying? Their vocals, like each member's vocals, are very distinctive, yet they complement each other so, so well. This is one of, the, one of the things I miss here, a song that's like very heavily, like in terms of the delivery, like a bit airy uh, on the ends of the lines, right? I love, 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 love the claps here or, you know, these kind of percussion epic drums that are being done. More so like snares that are very atmospheric with it. Oh, I really hope they continue this in Young Boy in a way. But also, really carry on the torch that has been done in terms of this style. This is the one thing that I love about K-pop, right? The one thing I'm a other sucker for is the passion, right? Passion, and I would say genuineness, right? I talk about the likes of the earnesty that I love from my ultimate favorite girl group, from his nine. That is something that you can't take away my love for of K-pop and the music, right? Whether it's passion, whether it's earnesty, genuineness. That is those are the kind of elements and things that I look for and wanting to become a fan of a certain group, right? That's sort of my criteria. And I love how not only the members are being showcased well in this release, in this debut, I really feel for their sort of true colors in this in a way almost, funny enough, right? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, come on! Whether it's the snapping here, but I definitely hear, you know, the plucks of a guitar in some moments in this, and the strumming as well. Yeah, even the bass line for this is very sentimental with it. Build up here, the snare drum. Woo! See what I'm saying? Like, even though I've seen this beautiful circle of lights and all in various MVs, I don't think it's overdone. But I think it's a matter of how you utilize this kind of set here. Right? I love how the orange and the blue complement each other, but also... The choice of fit outfits for this one, like, they don't blend in too much in the background, right? It's just a perfect balance of colors and color grading in this. As someone who, who does edit videos from time to time and edits on the channel uh, here, I just love the color grading. It, oh! But I can strongly say they totally took the synth pop route. Not in the happy-go-lucky kind of manner, because like any group can do that for synth pop and all utilizing synth pop. You can be very happy-go-lucky and positive with it. But wow, they just really took it in the sentimental route. Woo! The, the, the expressions, though, that each and every member makes... Oh my goodness, what a 
an electrifying moment here. I'm already saying it. This is literally one of the best boy group debuts of this year. And I feel like that means a lot um, on my personal ranking, at least, right? Sure, I'm open-minded, but I'm really picky in terms of taste and what kinds of releases. And, man, this is, like, in the top three. This is the top three debut releases or just... I would say debuts, but like releases in general uh, for boy groups, yeah, at least, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad, you know, they, they hit that, that I was waiting for that one song and it's, it's right here in front of me. Oh, the keyboard slash piano work though. Man, notice that, like, I don't want to fade away, but even after this dance break slash... I would say, um, instrumental break. Yeah, it, it was actually this line. I'm sorry, guys. This line here ooh, really got to me. It, it cut deep. And as some of you guys may already know, I'm just a sucker for, like, beautiful vocal work and all. So, like, whoever did that soaring note might be my favorite member or bias potentially. If I do end up fully being committed for this boy group, or I could just be a simply a casual listener, which is completely uh, fine. But nonetheless, you get me. This is a really, really good debut. I can understand why you guys are, are talking about, right? Nine I over and over again on my YouTube channel and all across all. I would say all, not all, but a lot of uh, my uh, videos. But let's dive into Young Boy uh, now. And let's see what this first comeback truly uh, is. I heard only but good things about this certain uh, specific release. Just the audio here. We do have the English captions this time around, which is great, which is great. Whoa. Oh, I love the strumming here. The synthesizer work. Very upbeat right away. Okay. Oh, the drum kit work here. What I feel like this is really gonna take a bit of that sentimental feel. Just more so in a cathartic kind of energy instead to it. A little bit more gritty with it. Okay. Oh, I'm already feeling this song, guys. <laughs> okay, this definitely screams more youthfulness, but definitely with a little bit of grittiness to it, for sure, like I described earlier. Oh. The strumming and the constant chugging of that guitar is great. Couldn't see anything in front of me. It's okay to be bruised.
Wow, they truly carried on from their debut. But really put more um to it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm. Man, the ambition in this song. Oh. Is all over the song, I would say. Yeah. But yet, I feel like there's almost like a level, a certain kind of level of relatableness in this song. What's cool is this had like a standard arrangement like their debut. But I feel like they really actually built off of that debut. It wasn't a drastic switch up where I unfortunately see for new groups, right? It's not like they're trying to cater towards a trend. They're doing something that works for them really, really well for all of the members. That is cool. Oh my goodness. And yet again, what? This is a second mini album? What an incredible feat. That Nine Eye has done here, everyone. Back in November 7th, okay? I'm sorry for being late to this, but I'm glad that I have arrived to Nine Eye and am currently looking forward to checking out more from them. Okay, if you guys want me to check out the B-sides in general for them, be sure to let me know, right? I'm gonna try my very best. But also, I'm most definitely going to keep my eye out for them in the future and have my ears open for them because I can't emphasize this enough. They really took me back in time with their debut. Reminded me of 2018, 2019 days going far and beyond specifically the likes of 101, right? And... There's not much groups that do that, you know? There's not many groups that carry on that kind of torch, but not only that, do that kind of style that much justice. And I just don't like it when I personally make comparisons or hear comparisons. But when I'm bringing up these comparisons, I'm trying to say it in a way like this reminds me of similar, right? And I feel like I can exactly say when when I exactly think that way, I'm going to have to put it out there right away because I just can't help myself remembering those good times. The likes of Cha Sarang, CSR with their their debut and I'm like, "Wow, this this earnesty. Uh, you can, I can only feel it from the early days the likes of G Friend and something lighthearted from the likes of Lovelies, right? And similar like this, Nine Eye did that for me with the Parallel Universe, but with Young Boy that's what I was wanting, right? Continuing that kind of sentimental feel or that I would say the bit of youthfulness that I heard in Parallel Universe, but carrying it on, easy to listen to, have great longevity value to it. But not only that, add a little bit of more grittiness. And I think they also added a level of relatableness of being young. You know, not knowing what to do, not not knowing what to turn or what to do in your or life, right? And being lost, quote unquote. Why am I doing here? These kind of big questions that cannot necessarily be answered right away. Like self-discovery, self, 
you know, self-identity and all like that. And I can relate to that. There's definitely certain points in this moment that, I'm, okay, I'm not gonna like openly say it because it's too personal, but I could say like for general examples where it's transitioning from high school to post-secondary and you know, going off career and not knowing what to do. I feel like that sort of relatableness, but also keeping that sort of youthful side, your young self and just living life to the fullest, you know, without any regrets, even though they're not specifically talking about regrets. There's some songs that do that, but young boy, I like how that carries on from parallel universe, but you know, it has that cathartic kind of energy from the distorting of the guitar, the chugging of the guitar, yet the guitar plucks that I heard in this with the combination of the drum kit work. I think this steps it up, right? Parallel Universe, I would say nine. Young boy, I would give it a 9.5. This is a special boy group. And I really hope, right, their AR, their label, right, continues to carry on this and continues to build it off like what they did from Parallel Universe to Young Boy, right? Because I don't, I, I can't imagine debuting with Young Boy, then going into Parallel Universe. So I feel like basically TLDR, what I said today, all the details were considered. Everything was considered and everything was matched, right? Who's working behind the scenes with Nine Eye, right? The tracks that they provided for them the music, right? And most importantly, the kind of distribution that they had in this group, like, oh, which members singing after another? Oh, are, oh, shall we put this incredible dance break, instrumental break during Parallel Universe, right? So there's some songs that are missing that um, oomph, especially too. I feel like that dance break slash instrumental break really added more oomph to the song, right? But then Young Boy took it to a whole nother level, right? So I really hope Nine Eye continues like going in this kind of direction. But I'm gonna have to dive back into Young Boy before I wrap it up, provide like even more concluding uh, thoughts and all. So let's just do that right away. So dare I say, I think, not dare I say, but from the debut, heavily synth pop right heavily 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 but with young boy here it takes that synth pop rock route right and you know rock it, it, it it's a it's quite the trendy genre for k-pop especially these days and for like specifically angsty kind of releases i don't think this necessarily takes the angsty kind of um route to it but it there's just that tad bit of grittiness that i feel where it's like, wow, it provides that sort of relatableness, like young, not knowing what to do, but like just living life. Having our ups, having our downs in life. Jeez, the skyline, the lighting here, or, or just this background that they set up for this particular member, the orange and, and blue, right? It's a great combination. Like, isn't that like a common thing? Like they're literally glowing and the sort of reflections off their faces and all with the lighting and all really well put out. So I can tell like the label, they poured a lot of resources in this boy group, right? So I appreciate that, you know? And that quality remains from their, from parallel universe, right? Oh, these synths here are done so well with the chugging of the guitar. Introduce the drums here. Just go away. I feel like the world, society, it pushes ya, you know? It pushes us one way or other. And they're like, they're just so straight forward with it, with these lyrics. I can even die, you know? But... You know, even though there's this unfamiliarity...
in life, there's there's some moments where hey, getting familiar with an uncomfortable environment and just like living with it is completely fine. <laughs> So I, I'm sort of trying to connect the dots to it, you know, maybe I'm going way too deep in the sauce with it. But like, you know what I'm saying, in general, this really, it really shows the, the youthfulness in this group. But most importantly, being very optimistic, continuing to dream like a young boy when you're young. Or a young girl or anyone, right? When you're young, you dream like, oh, I want to be a fireman or I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? But continue to dream, you know, don't don't let go of that dream that you're aiming towards or don't stop dreaming, you know? So that's what I'm getting. Like, it's very straightforward with it in terms of that. Oh. I just noticed, wow, what a beautiful rhythm guitar here. Notice the rhythm guitar. I mean, like, it's it's the truth. I don't care. Just keep going on my way, no matter what. They, don't stop me. I can't stop going, you know? I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I'm serious now. Now that I'm thinking about it and after what I'm, I've said in this video so far, yeah, 9i is literally my number one or number two favorite boy group of this year. In terms of coming from like a, a you know, brand new debut, No matter, you know, how hard it gets, come on, just bring it all on me, okay? I might get hurt, I might, you know, I might get cut and all, but even the wound gets worse by getting swept away, even though I can potentially die, no matter what, I'm gonna keep dreaming, you know? So yeah, I think I've really connected the dots here in regards to that. Keep flying, keep dreaming. I love the background vocal here, or the sampling, you know, it adds that more, more so kind of... Again, dare I say, this kind of nostalgia kind of feel to it you know i wouldn't say young boy is as nostalgic compared to parallel universe but there's a, a, a little level to it you know Some nostalgia but mostly oh my goodness this really put me deep it cut me deep down inside right everything in the world seems frustrating I feel so isolated. Why am I here? There's some moments where I feel like, why am I here? But then, hey. I feel like this is coming back into the dreamy feel. So this is why they're back in to this forest, but this time with the disco balls and all that stuff. I'm just having a hell of a time, you know, living life. And I, is it just me, but I feel like we just need more encouraging music just like this. Young boy. Notice, even the ad-lib work is really well done in this song. Okay, okay, I noticed one thing though, right? I noticed one thing though. Okay, so this is all the members. Art director, wow. 
Yeah, there were some drone shots. Colorist. Okay, so first of all, I'm familiar with Quan Namu. Second of all, I gotta search who's behind these songs. Okay, Parallel Universe. Let's see if I can find it here real quick, guys, because I know, you know, this video is getting long, but sorry, I can't help myself. When I hear a good release, I gotta say it, you know? When I hear good music, I gotta say it. So, wow. Vaughn is very dedicated to Nine I. Kim Sung Soo. Wow, Kim Sung Soo. In case you didn't know, I covered Kim Sung Soo pretty as of recently with Stupid Love and Wiki Meki, but Kim Sung Soo has came through with many of our favorites, working with the likes of IOI, working with the likes of As One, working with the likes of Infinite and B Mind. Okay, no wonder why. I totally forgot that Kim Sung Soo. <laughs> worked with literally one of my ultimate favorite boy groups out there and that is infinite and that is such a passionate kind of boy group and the Aracho with Chasarong so like double whammy am I right working with an oldie but a goldie track with Eric Nam and how about how about how about young boy is it is it Kim Sung Soo again did I just miss um Kim Sung Soo in the credits there Wow, Kim Sung Soo yet again. And we got Ju Young from 9 Eye. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. And Ju Young for the debut. Ooh, okay. A bit of self made, but also a lot of consistency. So that makes sense production wise, right? I'm sure visually too, they worked with the same people, assumingly. Now let me go into Nine Eyes K profiles. I know K profiles can be, you gotta be a grain of salt and all. All right, there we go, Nine Eyes profile. 10 member boy group, yeah. A lot of members. 98 liner leader. Oh, it was a contestant. Role model is Minhyun from Newest. Okay. Okay. Eden? Yeah, this guy was one of the guys that caught my attention in the music videos. Oh. One and a half years before debuting. Winnie. Yeah, Winnie. Uh, Ty. Wow. Close with Eden, role models Jungkook from BTS. That's cool. Yeah, I really noticed uh, Winnie across the music videos. Minjun. Did not fo follow Wild Idol. Oh, contemporary dance. Vaughn. Wait a sec, this is the same Vaughn that I saw off the credits? Under 19, I've heard about that show. Oh, Happy Face! Oh... 2000... Yeonjun. Ooh, good role model choices, actually. Taehyun. Performance leader. What a position that is, huh? Taehyun. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's mighty fine. This sort of, like, first glance, I'm like, putting two and two together, likes ATs a lot. I feel like that makes so much sense. The Machne. So, 04. So it goes as far as 04. Oh, wow. What a boy group, everyone. What a boy group. I know we're getting too long into this, too, getting a little bit too deep with this. Hopefully you guys made it this far with me. 
Nine Eye is a boy group that I'm gonna have to keep my eyes and ears out uh, for, but definitely gonna stream Parallel Universe and Young Boy a lot on my own time in the rotation. You already uh, know, shout out to y'all who've been letting me know about this boy group and recommending me to check out their song Young Boy, but not only that, their debut with Parallel Universe. So I've been missing out, but hey, better late than never. Definitely gonna have to check out the B-sides if you guys want me to. If not, I'm gonna just check out the B-sides on my own time either or. I'm gonna do either uh, or hopefully before their next uh, release. That's probably gonna happen realistically next year. And there's no way December, right? But uh, if anything special happens, might check out their special LT kind of stuff during December. You know, December has like special uh, releases or of course variety stuff but take care as always be sure to like share and maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much just love connecting with you guys with 9i in the comment section down below let's connect and all take care this has been garrison though and peace